and I don't want to dwell on this a lot, but the marketing standpoint, what you guys were talking about with Adrian Bronner, and I was trying to show you the difference of how they're marketing. Okay, the reason why Adrian Bronner is going to do well, and the reason why Mayweather does these events with TMT the way that he do, and what he was trying to say, because a lot of people was asking me about it, that's why I'm bringing this up now, about the marketing strategy and the plan they have as opposed to the plan that they have for Andre Ward. See, the plan they have for Andre Ward is, doesn't work for this, this new era. The plan they have for Andre Ward works more for television than it does social media. You see, we dictate this. The urban market dictates what is currently going to be great. Adrian Bronner is a bigger name than Andre Ward. And why is that? It's because the urban market likes his style. We like the way he's flamboyant. We love flamboyantness. But we love it is that he relates to something that goes around in our everyday life with the rapping, the, the, the outfits he wear, the dancing, the way he talk. We can relate to it. And if we like it a lot and we keep promoting it and we put it out there, other people will pay attention to it. That is the way it goes. But Andre Ward, he was not marketed that way. He was marketed to the upper middle class, middle class boxing fans. To the distinguished boxing fan. He was marketed in that bracket that they market Sugar Ray Leonard. But here's the problem. They didn't market him in a way where they could promote him on television when they should have been because television with boxing is not there anymore. When Ray Leonard was boxing, they had ABC. They had uh, Worldwide of Sports. He was the next Muhammad Ali. It was easier to sell him to the entire masses and the urban community was going to follow him because he was black but with social media the ultimate distraction you have to deal with this whole different scenario of the attention span of the public they don't care most of them on social network they barely watch television and they barely watch ABC CBS they watch BET Maybe some MTV, TV One, <laughs> and then it's back to the internet. It's back to social media. It's back to YouTube. It's back to Facebook. Andre Ward fan base is higher in the UK than it is in the United States. And that's a fact. No one in the United States of America, really, unless you're from the Bay, talks about Andre Ward. And that's not a knock on Andre Ward. And I'm serious. He's a great boxer. He's a great human being. It's just the truth. No one is talking about him in the urban communities. They will talk about Adrian Broner, Floyd Mayweather, the money team, anybody else because that's how they market him. And as you see, the marketing strategy of what is working and what is not working. Andre Ward should be making a ton of money with the type of mass appeal he has in the, in the European, UK crowds and everything else. He should be over there doing fights. Why is he still fighting in the Bay? That is, I have been saying it before Floyd Mayweather even mentioned it. It's the truth. What is he doing still fighting in the Bay? And if James Prince, you boasting that you this you the manager and this and that, if this if you the manager managed to get his ass overseas, manage to do that, get him some bigger events. That's what need to go on because this is what's happening in the sport. It's not rocket science as to why he's so good. 
It's not about this ain't even about talent level. Adrian Broner really is still learning. He's, he he can improve. He can get better. He's still learning. See, people uh, actually believe that fighters don't get better because they're good boxers. Like Floyd Mayweather didn't improve back when he was 23 to when he was 28 and 29. Like he didn't learn anything or didn't advance. From the style. Floyd Mayweather fought all different type of styles when he was coming up. From a, um, when he first started his boxing career. He fought tough competition in different styles. The man fought Emmanuel Augustus. Come on. Let's be real. Now if anybody even aware of who that guy was. you Then you know what I'm talking about. You face all these different styles so you can learn. So when you down the road, you face tougher opposition. You've already faced someone similar to their style. You're not going to be uncomfortable with it in the ring.